great. Brawler, thank you very much for coming. Really appreciate you being here. Uh, no, thank you, man. It's all for a good cause. Teenage Cancer Trust has always been a, a cause close to my heart, and I, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just absolutely delighted to be here. To be honest, and uh, to be able to contribute anything I can uh, to these kids is, uh, it's just great, you know. There's a load of uh, very uh, high-profile comedians and, and musicians come down today to help out the event and, and do stuff. When you do events like this, do you change your material at all to fit with the fact that it's a charity thing or do you just would you, does that go through your head or what do you think preparing for something like this uh well i do have to alter my set a bit like there'll be quite a few young people in the audience so i can't do a few numbers and uh i also um it's a good like this might sound a bit bad but it is a good place to try out new stuff and so like if it without the pressure you can try it out and sometimes it flies and sometimes it doesn't but it's all for a good cause in the end people paid their money for the charity not to see me really that's great. So new, you mentioned new stuff. Is there anything that you could maybe share with us? I could drop a beat. Yeah? Do you want to take the mic? All right. Do ta- drop a beat. Okay. Just a brawler with an aura of menacing. Dear like a venison, got love, look I'm losing a tennis and grab your medicine. Cause I'm iller than Benel and I ain't sucking, I bite him, my tunes are better with venom and I'm telling him. I got speed like amphetamine, stamina, yeah you better, I'm in the best shape that I've ever been, no more ketamine. I'm only popping the vitamins, who the fuck am I kidding, I'm getting riddled and everything, doing shots out the pot, the doctor gave me the piddle and back to the middle. I think, yeah. I think the, no- I think the nothing says Teenage Cancer Trust like no more ketamine, I think that was brilliant. Okay, I mean, just cut it out. Just, just don't do any more of it, and we'll help the kids. Say no. Say no. The response tonight: we're doing an auction as well. How do you feel the auction response? Have you been tempted to bid for stuff? Do you think people are going to go for it? If you had a box up there, what would you put in? Um, I actually am about to put up my hublo. My God, is this what the money from the record sales have bought you? Yeah, well, actually, I owe quite a bit of money from this, so I haven't actually got uh, all of my money through. <laughs> but uh, I'm willing to put that up because I'm confident that I'm going for. So that is a fucking hublo. That's absolutely brilliant. What we usually get to some people to do is maybe give a little personal message to people at home who maybe aren't here, maybe aren't members of Groucho or stuff, I got to say. Get involved in Teenage Country Trust if you can. If I give you the mics or anything you'd like to say, just like a little sentence or two to people to encourage them to be a part of it and be involved. Oh, definitely, man. So this is Dave Brawler here just saying Teenage Cancer Trust is an absolute legend of an organisation and you should open your hearts and open your wallets because it's an absolute, like I said before, it's just there to help people and these people need a good time. So Teenage Cancer Trust. That's brilliant. I think before we do go, because it is such an honour to have you on our chairs, I think there must be some background stories that you hear, you hang out with all these people, you do all these gigs. Is there anything like that? we wouldn't expect about someone or is there anything that you'd like stories that you can share from your gigs around the world any stories um trying to think now chat show trivia it's <laughs> i thought i thought we <laughs> i did hear that uh you know old dirty bastard oh, okay old dirty bastard apparently uh when he was trying to do uh an album with pharrell like a good few years back he couldn't get his vocal properly so he was like trying and trying and trying he's getting more and more frustrating there's a big plaque of uh ll cool j and uh he's just there going can't concentrate with this fucker looking at me so he took it down and he just pissed all over it oh my god you wouldn't do that would you i have done it i've done the exact same thing <laughs> the story i thought it was so funny i did it in a uh, sticky studios there was a big there was a big one of ed sheeran on the wall and uh, like 100 million records sold or some shit like that and i was just like how am i supposed to compete with that took it down pissed on it he only turned up himself and fucking saw me doing it exclusive you hear it first thank you very much for joining us brother i wish you all the best in the future you too man absolute pleasure cheers